Okay, so Christian and I are going to try to exhaust all of our glue bridge variations, okay? There are quite a few of them. Uh, each one is aimed at a, uh, you know, different scenario for different patients, okay? So the first scenario that Christian went over with that glute bridge with the posterior pelvic tilt is a very generic um, kind of exercise that we use with uh, numerous patients. It's a good foundation for them to start off on, but say you need to uh, regress the patient a little bit, okay? Um, let's go ahead and grab them a Swiss ball, okay? So let's say, you know, they have a hard time with their feet, you know, just being on the ground. So this would be a more regressed version where it kind of completely uh, puts their spine into a neutral position, okay? So they're starting off here, hands again to the side so that way they don't roll around, okay? We don't want them to uh, get discomfort from this. So I'm making sure that the Swiss ball is directly under my knees for this variation, okay? All right, so what I'm doing is again, I'm going to pull my belly button in, squeeze my glutes, and then just lift my hips up slightly and come back down. Okay, pull belly button in, squeeze glutes, lift hips up and down. Okay, so this would be different than doing a, a normal bridge using the ball, right? If I were just to go ahead and just try to lift my hips up as high as I could, okay, we could do that. But if I'm maintaining a posterior pelvic tilt during this exercise, I'm not gonna go very high. You can tell there's a huge difference. So belly button in, squeezing the glutes, coming up, okay? If I'm maintaining that, it's not gonna go very high. So a huge difference between that and that, okay? So again, it's a nice little regressed version of doing those glute bridges. Okay, you guys, keep studying. Keep uh, training.